The Gophurus polyphemus, a species that's made its home in North America for 60 million years. A species that lives a long life. And at advanced disposal, we want to keep it that way. Washington County saw an economic need to build a landfill. and advanced disposal was chosen to do the project. A large tract of land in rural Washington County, Alabama, was selected for the new turkey trot landfill operation. During the assessment process, Advanced Disposal and their assessment team determined that the site was home to a large colony of gopher tortoises. We first became aware of them when the uh, fish and wildlife were doing their part of the permitting process. And they made us aware that we had a, a colony of gopher tortoises here and that they would have to be relocated. And Advanced Disposal took it from there and they've, they've taken care of everything up until this point. Uh, at that point, we actually had to go through a process with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife uh, to get a favorable recommendation from them to be able to relocate the tortoises. Obviously, the development of this site and advanced disposal didn't want to harm a threatened species. Therefore, by removing the gopher tortoises from the site, we are effectively uh, protecting them from any damage from construction activity and landfill operation. As part of an approved initiative to develop a landfill in southwest Alabama, Advanced Disposal relocated the colony of gopher tortoises to a new habitat just 30 miles away. Gopher tortoises need well-drained sandy soil so they can dig their burrows deep into the ground, some as deep as 20 feet. High and dry ground is also what you look for when you're building a landfill. This site was primarily selected because it was so high. Typically landfills generally need to have high ground with less wetland impact, with suitable soil and the right quantities of soil. And this site lies on a sand ridge that makes it very beneficial for landfill siting. By law in the state of Alabama, the local governing body has to approve any landfill sites that are in the county and being a member of the county commission, we had to give local approval. The move was an undertaking that required the care, knowledge and dedication of dozens of people and the cooperation of several environmental and governmental agencies. The tortoises were moved to a habitat where they'll be protected forever. This family of tortoises now has a new home. Here's the story of their journey. The gopher tortoise is an ancient reptile that inhabits dry uplands throughout the southeastern United States. They're similar in appearance to turtles, but have many physiological differences that allow them to live on land and not in water. Unlike most animal species, where the X and Y chromosomes determine their sex, the sex of gopher tortoises is determined by the temperature of the ground in which their eggs incubate. Their smooth carapace, or top part of the shell, provides much needed protection from predators, which is convenient when you move as slow as a tortoise. Like us, a gopher tortoise's family life revolves around its home. With shovel-like front feet, they excavate underground burrows that average 20 feet long and 8 feet deep. They're one of only a few species of tortoises to actually make burrows large enough to live in. Their burrows provide protection from predators and the elements. They also protect tortoises from extreme conditions on the surface, such as drought, freezing weather, and fires. Advanced Disposal is protecting this tortoise family and all the other families that live with them by carefully moving them to a safe habitat. Once they're excavated and uh, all the tests have been performed, uh, which one of the processes is blood testing, uh, we have to take a blood sample and make sure that they don't have any type of uh, diseases so the recipient site's not contaminated. They'll be taken to a piece of property owned by South Alabama Utilities, uh, a preserve there where they'll be kept for eternity. We are testing for a disease called upper respiratory tract disease, URTD, and it's in it's it's common in gopher tortoises. And, and so all these tortoises that we're moving to the new population, we want to make sure that none of them have it. And then while we still have them all strapped in, we kind of do a cursory investigation of the tortoise to make sure all the health considerations are taken care of. The natural habitat of the gopher tortoise extends from extreme southern South Carolina throughout Florida, southern regions of Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and into southeast Louisiana. With a move of only 30 miles, our gopher tortoise family will feel right at home in their new location. Respect for nature and the environment is critical to advanced disposal. We go to great lengths to protect the environment we are entering. 
working side by side with the appropriate agencies to ensure minimal impact. Rachel Salkers with Environmental Services Inc. coordinated the move and brought to the project extensive knowledge of the gopher tortoise. She's relocated over 500 gopher tortoises throughout Florida. This burrow should have a gopher tortoise at the bottom of it. However, gopher tortoises have their spring and summer homes, so they have typically two or three burrows per gopher tortoise. So it's difficult to get an accurate estimate on what hole this guy is actually in. Moving all the inhabitants of the burrow, and not just the tortoises, is critical to their survival and the survival of other species. Over 350 other species of animals also make their homes in gopher tortoise burrows. On moving day, there was a lot going on. But all of the tortoises seem unaware of their impending journey. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services reviewed and approved an extensive environmental assessment of this tortoise population. The permit granted allows for relocation of the entire tortoise population to their new homes. This move includes long-term habitat management necessary to sustain the tortoises for thousands of years to come. What you have here is a gopher tortoise burrow map. It shows all the gopher tortoises that we have or all the, all the burrows that we have on site at Turkey Trot. The red dots indicate active burrows, yellow dots indicate inactive burrows, white are abandoned. All the circles with dots in the middle, those are actually juvenile burrows that we found. What we're doing is we actually survey every single piece of square footage on this property looking for burrows like this. And then we hang flagging tape and we take GPS points of them and we mark it on a map and we also write down the activity status of them. Burrows can be abandoned, inactive, or active. As the journey began, environmental services prepared the area. Now, what a lot of people love about gopher tortoises is that they're considered a keystone species. A lot of species live in a gopher tortoise burrow with, with the gopher tortoise. You're talking about snakes, frogs, mice. And so if you remove those gopher tortoises, those burrows are no longer going to be inhabitable. And so you therefore lose an entire ecosystem and many other species that go with it. So that's why it's considered a keystone species. The burrows were excavated carefully by skilled technicians. Mike Oliver, the backhoe operator, has assisted in moving thousands of tortoises over the years. He's one of only a few operators in the world trained to carefully dig up their burrows to uncover the gopher tortoise rusting deep below the surface. Mike and Rachel's team carefully excavated each burrow. When we're looking at excavating a burrow, we have to figure out the direction that the burrow heads towards. As you can see, I'm still not actually hitting anything right now, and it keeps on going. But the one thing I want to do is go along the outside to make sure he doesn't have any side burrows going off on the side to make sure we're following it in the exact right direction. Another method of capturing tortoises is to place a have a heart trap at the opening to their burrows. If they're home and they try to leave, they'll end up in the trap. Even with trapping, you must still scope the burrow to make sure it's empty. And if you've oftentimes got to get the gopher tortoise on a timetable, you've got to dig. The next step in the journey, heading to their new home. Our family of gopher tortoises made the journey safe and sound. They're now digging new burrows and they're on their way to adapting to their new environment. This land was chosen because it is prime gopher tortoise habitat. We will maintain this habitat from now on. We, uh, every year we will come in here, springtime, we'll burn it off so there'll be plenty of foliage for the gopher tortoises to have uh, so they can graze and it'll be a good place for them. So each tortoise has its own silt fenced in pen. It goes about seven inches under the ground. They also get a starter burrow, which we've dug for every pen. In addition, each tortoise is given a permanent identification number by drilling small holes in their scoots. 
This pattern of holes will identify each tortoise during continued monitoring and data collection. We built this tortoise's pen because we want him to stay in an area that um, we think is, is suitable for him and, and will will be protected from the elements while we are testing his uh, blood for urds. We'll take these stakes down uh, probably in about a week or so. Uh, when we get the urds testing, um, we can actually take down the pens after we find out that they're, they don't have any um, virus uh, related to the urds. Projects such as the Turkey Trot Landfill provide an opportunity to gather data for advancing tortoise conservation. Data gathered during the relocation process, plus long-term monitoring at their new home, will help better understand their habitat needs, survival rates, and reproduction successes. This information will also assist the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in protecting the gopher tortoise in perpetuity. Advanced Disposal believes in being a stellar corporate citizen, and we chose to move the gopher tortoises to an area where they're going to be protected forever. And we chose to document it because we think it's something pretty special. And we wanted to show our neighbors and our community where we live and work and where we're building this vital infrastructure, what we do to protect the environment. The gopher tortoise's journey is now complete. With the help of many people, the delicate balance between growth of commerce and the protection of the environment has been achieved. For the gopher tortoise family, it's a new day, a new beginning, and a new home forever.